Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making an absolutely irresistible fried rice with Chinese sausage. Let me show you how to make it. We'll start by peeling some carrots. Next, we'll slice the carrots into sticks and then dice them down into cubes from there. They should look approximately like this when you're done. We'll put the carrots in a pan and add olive oil, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to cook these on low to medium heat off to the side. This is the Chinese sausage I use for this recipe. I've tried many, many kinds over the years, and this is the best one. You can find it at most Asian markets. Let's take a closer look at the sausage. They have such a unique sweet and savory flavor, and if you've never tried it, you're in for a real treat. I dice them up three or four at a time, and this is about the size you're looking for, then just add them all to a pan. Cooking them is a little trickier. They need to cook on low to medium heat, and you should stir them regularly. If your heat gets too high, they will burn very quickly. We're not going to add any oil because a lot of fat renders out of these in the cooking process. And let's take a closer look. Oh, it's so yummy. We need ginger and garlic, so I'm peeling a chunk of ginger. And I always thinly slice my garlic first, then I dice it down into smaller bits from there. For the ginger, I just grate it right on my microplane. Then I confirmed I had exactly one tablespoon of ginger, and I added it in with the garlic. Eggs. We need four divided into two bowls, one for the scrambled egg and one for the raw egg we pour onto the rice at the end of the process. I'll add a pinch of salt to each, and then I'll beat both bowls of eggs. I'll add a little olive oil to a pan and scramble that egg. It should look like this. Just chop it up into little bits like you see here. Next up, we'll chop a bunch of scallions, which will go in the rice as well as on top for garnish. You'll need one big onion cut in half, cut into thin strips, and then diced down into smaller bits like this. So, we've got our cooked carrots, Chinese sausage, raw egg, garlic and ginger, scallion, the scrambled eggs, and our diced onion. And feel free to treat yourself to a piece of sausage here. Okay. I'm adding the onions into the carrot pan on medium heat. Then I'll add half the rice I cooked into another pan. I'll give the carrots and onions a good stir around, then declump the rice with a spatula or a spoon. Add the ginger, garlic, and a splash of olive oil to the carrot pan. Let it get fragrant for a minute, then incorporate it into the mixture completely. I'm going to throw a handful of scallions in there, give it a stir. Next, I'll add all the Chinese sausage, but be careful how much oil you let in the pan. We want a little of that fat, maybe a teaspoon, but not all of it. Now we're going to give this delicious flavor base a good mix until everything is well combined. Add half the mix into the rice pan and mix thoroughly. Add the scrambled eggs, give it another quick mix. Then we're going to add the rest of the rice. We're going to break up those clumps. Then add the rest of the sausage mixture and stir everything until it's well combined. If you have a wok, you should use it. I'm in between woks right now, so I used a deep pan, and it can be done, but a wok is much better. Once everything is well combined, just like you see here, we're going to add that raw egg right into the pan. And don't worry, this is so hot right now that the egg cooks almost immediately when it hits the rice. We're going to give it one final mix to make sure all the raw egg coats the rice and is cooked through, and you're done. And now it's time to eat the bite. There is incredible flavor to this rice. The onions, carrots, garlic, ginger, and of course that incredible sweet and savory Chinese sausage is out of this world. You've really got to try this one. It reheats great for packed lunches and can serve a crowd easily. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, all the printable recipes are available on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.